eye surgery. I didn't think it would ever happen, but I did find something. And so I have no financial interest. Um, the history of uh, iris repair and, and corneal suturing uh, began with Malcolm McCannell in 1976. Dr. Siepser modified that in 2005. And then uh, myself and Dr. Nicholson in 2012 came up with the fisherman's knot aboard the US hospital ship Mercy. <coughs> There's a low cost simulator that Dr. Devi Mandaji in Monado, Indonesia developed using a plastic one liter bottle, used blue jeans for the iris and uh, super glue using a crochet hook and needle and yard and heavy thread. The technique involves using a tenoproline CF needle or teno Gore-Tex. Some use a ninoproline, uh, Boris Maliugin prefers that. And uh, you enter the eye two clock hours from your intended closure. Use of an iris hook or tying forceps to twist the knot. And it's an easy knot to remember, which I'll show you in a moment. And it doesn't slip like the uh, seeps or not. So here's, uh, So this is showing the seeps or not. <coughs> okay, so this is showing the seeps or not, how uh, when they do this knot, they pull the loop through, and then he twists the suture around back and forth around the loop. And um, the only problem with that is sometimes you can untie the knot right after you've tied it. And it doesn't always hold, as you'll see here. So when he pulls this tight, it loosens up again. See that? So it doesn't always work. Um, iris repairing suture, we put it through the, the iris and um, tie it, and this is an example of a coloboma that we repaired. And you can do a pupillary cyclage by uh, going through several bites. And then the next step is to pull the loop through uh, and pull it out of the eye and then twist the loop five times. And what that does is it does the same thing as the seeps are weaving it back and forth. So this is, the, this is the typical fisherman's knot when you're tying a hook on. You put it through the, the uh, loop in the hook, you twist it five times, and then you bring the, the fishing line back through that loop. Right through here. And then pulling it tight, and this will hold a very heavy fish, so it works really well. This is my simulation of the fisherman's knot using a pair of blue jeans and a uh, single O suture. So you pull the, the uh, suture through, reach in with a hook, pull it out of the eye, twist it five times,
and then pass the needle through the loop. And that way you can never uh, forget how to do it in the middle of a, a battle in the OR. It holds really well. And then I always put a, a second loop, a locking throw in. So grab, the, grab a loop again and twist it twice the opposite way and then just pass the needle through that loop again. And then that um, locks the suture really well. So. Um, I think for the sake of time, this is a 85 year old woman who uh, had cataract surgery uh, 20 years before and had some trauma 15 years ago seen at the residence clinic for the traumatic iridodialysis and traumatic IOL dislocation. Um, the IOL actually was extruded out of the eye and she was aphakic and we decided to put in a secondary lens 12 years ago. And then um, <coughs> not too long after that, she was hit by a car backing up as a pedestrian and it dislocated her lens with an iridodialysis. And to complicate matters, she was taking warfarin and aspirin at the time. And so this is, uh, this is her, her video. So here we're twisting the loop five times and we're going to pass the needle through the loop as you see here and then pull the opposite ends and that helps to close up the, the defect. All right. So some of the pearls for iris suture repair, sometimes perfect can be the enemy of very good. Uh, you should have everything prepared and ready to start with your tenoproline on the table. Uh, you definitely need to do a retrobulbar block or general anesthesia on these cases because otherwise the patient's going to feel the iris and they, they'll move and any sudden patient movement can be a disaster. Uh, you can actually pull the entire iris out of the eye. Uh, be prepared, so be quick, get in and get out and then um, stop the anticoagulants for a week. And one thing I tell my residents, sometimes what they have is better than what they could end up with. And um, this is, uh, let's see. This, no, no, this is not working. Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. Thanks. So this is the fisherman's knot for iris repair. Um, so here we take two bites of the iris and we dock the needle with a 25 gauge needle as we saw earlier from another presenter. Um, we pull that out of the eye and then we reach in and grab a loop of the suture and then we twist it five times with tying forceps and then we pass the needle through that loop. Sometimes you have to pass it backwards and then just gently pull it together to tie it off and that works really well. And then we put in that locking throw afterwards. Um, that's really all I have. Thanks very much. <laughs>